Hey guys and welcome to another episode in my Minecraft uh, series and today I think I'm just gonna show you some of the updates I've done around the base etc. I've had some people asking me do you if I still play Minecraft and if I can upload some videos etc etc. Uh, generally it takes a lot of time uh, since I'm doing mostly building projects like now and I don't really feel like going adventuring. Uh, but I think I showed you this last time that I replaced all the flooring in my uh, in my base underground base with uh, half steps instead because it looks better, etc. So I don't think there's any need for me to show you all of that. Uh, the whole basement is fixed basically as well. So I'll just go to the. I've done a few fixes here and there. Uh, worked a bit on my water elevator and uh, some of on top there and clearing more ground and lots of terraforming has been going on but the two major projects I'm working on uh, which I will show you soon are on top of this tower here or one of the projects are up here so you can remember this glass bridge that I made which goes all the way over to where the water elevator stops on the top there with the plateau I have you know cleared some ground there and it's all flat now and add half steps as flooring and I'm gonna build some form of a building here. Uh, I'm not sure what though. I've had a few suggestions. We'll see what happens. But uh, here's another bridge now. And I really like half steps, as you can see. Uh, half steps and wood and fencing as the bridges here out to my floating islands. Uh, some people have been asking me if I could build a floating city or floating islands, etc. So I gave it a shot, and this is pretty much what I came up with. So I imported grass all the way from down here on the bottom and made a staircase of dirt all the way up here to the tops and let the grass, you know, replicate itself all the way up here and that took a shitload of time. It took maybe 10 in-game days and nights or so. Uh, this is my uh, lava pillar which uh, gives a lot of light. I'm gonna try to use as much uh, natural light as possible, like these uh, pillars here, that's not torches, and lava uh, as lighting instead of just spamming torches everywhere, which I've been doing lately, to just light up uh, the areas I've been working on. As even when I uh, when I build, etc., I don't uh, switch down the difficulty to peaceful. I still always play on hard. And here's another of my uh, floating islands. Also with this bridge built the same way, wooden planks, uh, half steps and fencing. And uh, I made a little farm up here with some water and some other stuff, uh, half steps for the flooring and here you can see my burning bridge thing that goes over to where my spawn point is now. And there's the skull statue and the roller coaster and the plateau and the beach is down there and everything. So basically there's water underneath here underneath all the crops there's uh, water which are flowing down from this well and from this well here uh, so yeah I've made three islands so far uh, before I got bored with it it takes a lot of work uh, making them as I've done them uh, it doesn't take super much work but it's kind of tedious and kind of boring so this is the little uh, enchanted fountain of youth thing I don't know what I was thinking I just wanted to plant trees up here on the flying islands and it, it got kind of cool actually I was thinking about making a lava pillar here uh, here as well but with water instead but I didn't really want to mess up all the all the leaves and everything from the trees and having to move them so I just ended up making a well instead and we can actually, this well is also a shortcut down to the ground as uh, I removed the little staircase of dirt that I made to get the grass up here uh, otherwise I, I would have been using the, this to go up and down instead of going to my base and go up the tower and going over the bridge I just ran up and down there but I removed that now since the grass is up here as you can see this grass on this island as well basically all I did was make, uh, I used dirt, connected it to this grass and built it all over the bridge and connected this to this island so the grass would grow which also took a few in-game days I'm not sure how long time it took but it's kind of annoying because it just randomly grows as it feels like it but yeah let's go uh, down the quick route here through my uh, through my little well there and basically what I've done the second project is this let me get down here uh, as you can see the islands here, 
you can see underneath it's like an upside down pyramid or whatever uh, I've added all that dirt to make it look like it's a chunk of dirt that basically you know floats in the middle of sky connected with bridges of course and you can see the lava pillar which was on the first island uh, the lava goes all the way down here to this little fountain or holding tank and the water from the well goes the same way and everything here is uh, symmetrical so these both of these two are exactly the same there's an even amount of uh, spaces here and these all they both look exactly the same so here you can see this lava holding tank on the floor and this is the water holding tank and they all look the same it's two glass, three glass up and one and a half steps around and three wood around, same on the other side. And then there's some half steps and some patterns that I've done. I thought about just making it all half steps first, but it takes a lot of resources first off. And second off, it gets kind of stale when everything is half steps, since the walls are mostly half steps. And this is, a, this is very much a work in progress. So keep that in mind, I'm not even half done. I'm gonna make a second floor, which will start here on top of the wall. Probably, maybe one up more, I'm, I'm not sure yet. Uh, start a second floor and add also some form of a pyramid roof, maybe. I'll see what I end up doing with it. But it's all gonna be half steps and glass and wood and planks. That's the plan at least. Uh, so you can see I cleared all this ground underneath, it's not hollow. It's all dirt. I terraformed everything. And I've added one of the glass walls here, which is just opposite to this one on top of the entrance door. And through this glass, you can see my water tower out here. You can actually go outside. And you can see I still, I still use the wooden planks and half steps out here to keep it more in line so it sinks up better. And this is some other... I'm not so happy with this left glass portion and the right glass portion. They are identical and mirrored. But I'm not sure if I really like them. I'll see what I end up doing with them. I've destroyed a lot of glass already, so I don't really feel like destroying more of it. But if I have to, I might do that. So, uh, suggestions to what I should build in this huge house, room, palace, church... I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. Some form of a castle palace thing. More uh, more of a modern twist though. I don't like the medieval castles etc. Like these towers that look more medieval uh, with the cobblestone and such. I'm trying to go for a more modern look. Uh, as I'm not so into castles and stuff like that but i don't think i've done any other major changes if you have any suggestions to what i should put in this huge room this will probably end up being my main base i'm probably gonna transport all the stuff and make some form of a uh, storage hub here instead of having it underground in my base over there and then i'm probably gonna end up uh, starting to explore uh, this way instead as uh, I've been all over the place on the other side of this island so I'm gonna try and explore this part of the island here uh, and I have seen when I've built these walls and from on top of the floating islands there's some lava over there running into a lake uh, which looks pretty cool we can go have a short look at it maybe I, I bet I'm gonna get mauled now by something lots of mobs are spawning usually but you can see it over there in the distance there's some lava uh, and it's going down into a lake. Uh, I don't want to die. Uh, there's some zombies and shit. But yeah, there's the lava. Going from that mountain wall into the lake. Let's go back to safety. I bet it's all pitch black on your screens, but I can see perfectly fine on my screen. I'm not sure if it's just higher gamma settings or whatever. But I've had, I've talked a lot with one of my friends, which I play a lot with. When it goes night on his computer, it's really night. It's pitch black everywhere, you can't see anything. Where did Skelton go? He got stuck in the water. Well, yeah, he can stay there. But yeah, that's the update for this time. So you can see these floating islands up here, connected to my tower. 
small fixes everywhere. Uh, changed uh, a lot of the floorings to half steps. I've changed a lot to half steps actually. I wanted to change the whole towers to half steps, but then I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Not now. Maybe later when I get extremely bored. I rather add something totally new than just renovating some old project. So this is what I ended up with. I wanted to make something big, something that was bigger than the other projects I've had. The towers are kind of big, but they're very easily built. They're just square towers. Same with the passageways and stuff. It looks good and it was fun to build, but it's actually very easy. This is more challenging, uh, trying to come up with patterns for the glass and you know just uh, mapping it out and doing the math on how many half steps and wooden planks and stuff I needed. So a lot of time has been spent gathering resources actually because I I used the whole chest full of stone basically to build this. Uh, I've I've had to move two of the walls, this back wall and this wall, this wall with the lava here. I had to move this wall one step because I miscounted and I had to move this wall uh, five steps to make it perfectly mirrored. As you can see one, two, three planks here and over here it's one, two, three as well. And before it was one, two, three here and one, two there and it pissed me off. So I changed it. I moved the whole wall. And every time you uh, destroy, there's two half steps in every block, you only get one half step back. back. So you lose even more resources. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, leave any suggestions, comments, uh, what do you think? Should I expand the floating island even more? I probably will end up doing that as anyway, but uh, for now I want to work on this project, I think. And hopefully I can give you at least weekly updates whenever I do something good. I'm gonna try to finish this first floor this week. And apparently my game is full. So uh, I gotta go guys and I'll see you later. <laughs>